my dunk session with Logan, he did a couple height checks and his first couple jumps uh, weren't, weren't his best. And I was watching and I commented that uh, I thought he was going too slow into the jump, he needed more speed. So he, uh, he tried that and on his second attempt, he was able to produce uh, you know, a visibly higher jump. Um, so what he says is that historically, he hasn't really been able to use a lot of speed in his approaches. Um, you know, he's not like a real light, uh, elastic jumper. He's really reliant on his squat strength. So that type of athlete typically, you know, doesn't use a lot of speed. Um, but he has improved in that ability within the past uh, year or so. And what he thinks has accomplished that is his use of sprinting and his training. Um, so the idea is basically when you sprint, uh, specifically like upright sprinting, um, you get very quick ground contacts. And over time, the accumulation of all those contacts um, doesn't just make you better at sprinting, but it also develops an ability that is somewhat general. Um, that's an ability I would typically call elasticity. Um, and that will translate or transfer to some other athletic movements. So you can use that elasticity to enhance something like a two foot jump. Um, and Logan thinks that, you know, that theory has uh, proven true in his case.